today's topic is frequently asked questions. I'm a singer, dancer, but I'm also a strong believer in living a happy and healthy lifestyle. Let's get into the video by Mel from Raw Nourishment. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today I have a frequently asked question video and we have about five questions today depending on how I'm going for timing. All right, so the first question is, what kitchen appliances or tools do I use? So the kitchen appliance that I use the most is my blender. Now I bought the second hand off Gumtree. It is a Sunbeam Cafe Series 1, no 1200 watt um, blender. It's incredible. It was the best 60 bucks I have ever spent. I know they're over about $300 new, but um, I like to save my money. <laughs> so yeah, I use it um, every single day actually. Another thing that I love to use is my juicer. Now I actually picked this up second hand for seven bucks um, at a charity shop. Um, I have no idea the name of it, but I'm just showing you a picture right now. And also I use my, um, my housemate's um, juicer as well, which is pretty cool. Um, another thing that I love to use is my spiralizer. I actually bought this off Amazon. It cost me about $45 to send it to Australia. And it's incredible. I don't use it as much as I used to when I first got it. I think the novelty's kind of worn off and now that it's um, it's winter in Australia, I'm having a lot more um, cooked food um, in my diet. So, that's it. Am I 100% vegan? You ready for the chocolate? No. Now, I'm saying that not from the food point of view, but from clothing point of view, um, the clothing footwear. I actually have two pairs of shoes that um, are made from leather. Now I did sell and give away the majority of my stuff after I watched Earthlings because it scared the hell out of me. Um, but I still have these left. What I'm trying to do is is when they wear out then buy new ones because I didn't buy these ones um, since I've been vegan. I had them previous to that. So what I'm going to do is just wear them out. And the other thing is in regards to my makeup, I still have some um, items that are not um, cruelty free, but as I said in one of my other videos that I am working towards that. So it does take time, didn't want to just ditch everything completely, but most of my stuff I did. How did I begin to change my thoughts? This is a great question, whoever wrote this, I love you. Gosh, my thoughts began to change previous to coming to the high carb, low fat vegan lifestyle. I started training my brain in March of 2013 um, and it came through via Louise L. Hay. I'm a massive Louise L. Hay fan, I believe in her affirmations and changing your universe based on your thoughts. And I started listening to one of her meditations about working on your inner child and releasing those demons within and changing your thoughts and I went to bed listening to it so my subconscious was becoming aware. I was listening to it when I was awake, so my conscious mind was also aware of this one as well, and it took a lot of time. But Louise L. Hay changed my life. It's when I basically realized that I need to start loving myself. And I always thought that other people can make you happy, but that's a load of crap, because you are the only person that can make yourself happy. Why don't I have a recipe section on my channel? Pretty good question, but I have a very simple answer, is that I'm a terrible cook. I am an experimental cook. I will have anything in the kitchen. I can make it into a meal, but if it's going to taste good, probably not. But I'm going to be satisfied, um, hunger-wise, not necessarily taste. I am getting better. Um, it's, it's one of the things that I need to work on. And if I find something that I love, I'm going to share it with you, obviously. But if it tastes like crap, there's no way I'm going to put you through that. So bear with me and it's coming, it's coming, I promise you. What type of bike do I ride? Well, I actually picked my bike up second hand off Gumtree. Um, it was about, I think it was about $60. It's incredible. It does the job for me. It's not a super duper fancy pants bike, but I didn't want it to be because I'm not at that level where I'm training hard on the bike. It's just something new to me, so I thought I'd ease my way into it. 
Well, there you have it, everyone. This is my latest Frequently Asked Question video. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's something that you want to ask me, post it below, and I'll be able to answer it in my next FAQ video. So thank you so much, everyone, for your support. Hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and remember to make better choices than the day you did before. Thank you so much again for your support. It truly, truly means a lot. The comments I received on the last video were incredible, and it, it, it just made my day, really. Um, so thank you, thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to follow me on my journey, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And remember, be the change you want to see in the world. Also, if you enjoyed the music playing in today's video, please check out my friends Nathan and Adam from The Line Apprentice. They are truly talented musicians and I highly recommend you check them out.